हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स So we are back with another feature series video in which we will discuss some important features of subscriptions for WooCommerce Pro plugin. So if you want to watch the detailed video on subscriptions for WooCommerce and how easily you can configure it, so we have mentioned the link in the description content. So you can check out the link in the description content. So in this plugin we have provided this functionality so that the admin can easily customize the add to cart text and place order text as per his requirements. Like let's suppose from here i write like add to cart here and here i have written place order subscription so both the text i have uh, customized and now let me click on save settings and here when i will scroll down so as you can see that the add to cart uh, text has been changed to add to cart here so as you can see that this is how the admin can easily customize the add to cart text and now let me click here and let me click on view cart and here when i will scroll down so as you can see that the place order text has also been customized because from the back end we have decided this text like place order subscription so this is how the admin can easily customize the text as per his requirements now let us discuss some more new features that have been added in this plugin so for this let's go to uh, hover on product section and click on all products so this is the product section and let's select any of the product so let's click on edit so we are on the edit product section of magazine subscription that we have created and when i will scroll down so here as you can see that uh, we have added this new feature of free trials limit so basically this means like we have provided this functionality uh, like let's suppose uh, if you have created any subscription product and let's suppose like if you have provided like free trial interval for 7 days and suppose that uh, the customer buys that subscription and before the free trial interval gets over he cancels the subscription and again he buys that subscription and again uh, he is using that free trial interval and he he is doing again and again so to limit that free trial so we have provided this functionality by which the admin can uh, by which the admin can click on this and he can enter the limit value like let's suppose i have entered 1 and here as you can see that the free trial interval is 7 days and let me click on update and from here only let us click on view product so this is the product uh, subscription product so let me click on add to cart and let me click on view cart and let me click on proceed to checkout so let me place the order so as you can see that the order has been received and now let me go to my account and here uh, let me click on subscriptions so here as you can see that this is the active subscription that we have purchased so this is the active subscription that we have purchased as you can see that and here as you can see that the subscription uh, details as you can see that here uh, the option is coming as cancel and pause so because we have provided like uh, for the one time like free trial limit is one time like let's suppose the customer cancels it so as you can see that this subscription has been cancelled and now let's again go to shop page and let me click on add to cart here and let me again buy with the same order details so as you can see that the order has been received so let's again go back to my account and here let me click on subscriptions and now let me click on show so as you can see that now the option of cancel is not coming here because we have a limited the free trial interval for the customers and the customers will not be able to uh, cancel the uh, subscription as set from the back end So from here you can easily set the limit value like one, two, or three, or whatever are your requirements. So from here you can easily set the limit value requirements for the free trial. So now let us discuss the next feature. Now let us click on view product. So this is the product. So now let's again add to cart. And here let's proceed to view cart, and let's proceed to check out. And now let us just quickly place the order. So as you can see that the order has been placed. and here as you can see that this is the related subscription table that we have added for the customer so that the customer can easily see the id of the subscription that is fixed and the status that is showing as active because the payment has been done and it is showing also the next payment date for that particular subscription that a customer has purchased and what will be the recurring total so here uh, uh, that is showing dollar 40 
and next is action so from here the customer can easily click on show to view the details of that related subscription so now let us again go back to the edit product section and now let us discuss uh, some more features that have been added in this subscription for woocommerce pro plugin so let us click on subscription settings and here when you will uh, over on simple product so as you can see that uh, the option is also coming as product bundle so basically subscriptions for woocommerce pro plugin is now compatible with woocommerce bundle plugin as you can see that from here so let me hover on installed plugins so as you can see that uh, we have already installed this woocommerce product bundle so here for this plugin you can offer product bundle bulk discount packages and assembled products and we have made this compatible with subscriptions so that you can also add bundles to your subscription product and sell your subscription product uh, in the bundle form so here as you can see that i have selected the option as product bundle and here you can decide the uh, bundle price so like i have decided like 200 so as you can see that i have decided the regular price of this product bundle to be 200 and then you can click on bundled products and here you can add the bundled products like this so from here you can click on add product like this so like this i have added these two products and make sure uh, like whatever the bundle products you are adding in this subscription product so they should be a simple or variable product it should not be a subscription product so like as you can see that so these are some of the uh, default uh, settings that uh, that we have done like minimum quantity maximum quantity default quantity uh, once you have added all these product so make sure you have clicked on update so the uh, product bundle has been created and now let us go to uh, product section or uh, let us go to shop page so let us click on view product so as you can see that now this magazine subscription product which was uh, previously a single subscription product is now a bundled product in which we have added these two uh, product like these two simple products sunglasses and t-shirt and this subscription uh, is uh, costing around 200 dollars per month for six months so every time the subscription gets renewed so automatically these two product will be added for that subscription now let me click on add to cart here and let me click on view cart and let me click on proceed to checkout and let me place the order so the order has been received now let us again go back here so now let us hover on woocommerce and click on orders so basically this is the order so let me click on view order so as you can see that uh, we have created the bundle product and decided the price like $200 and these two product as you can see that the cost is showing us $0 because this is a uh, like complete bundle product and the cost is uh, calculated like this like whatever the uh, total price that you have decided like $200 so that will only be charged uh, to the customer and rest to uh, and whatever the product simple products you have added so as you can see that the price it is showing as dollar zero so this is how this functionality of woocommerce bundle product works so as you can see that this was the main product and these were the bundle product that we have added to make a combined bundle product that you can easily sell to your customers via subscription that you can easily sell to your customers now let us see the next new feature uh, in the subscriptions for woocommerce pro plugin so for this uh, let us again go back to the product section and click on all product and here let me again select uh, one of these subscription product and here let me click on subscription setting and here let me uh, change the subscriptions per interval to days so i will explain you why i have selected subscription per interval in days so once you have done this so now let me uh, click on update and now let us go to shop page or simply click on view product so this is the product and let me click on add to cart here and let me click on proceed to checkout and let me click on place order subscription and now let us again go back to the backend settings and here let me click on WPS subscription so here as you can see that this is the order and here as you can see that the option of create recurring is coming here for this subscription plan but as you can see that for this and this uh, there is no recurring subscription plan uh, there is no option of recurring subscription coming here because uh, we have we have not set the interval uh, in days like for this I have selected like subscription setting to be subscription per interval in days so basically we have provided this instant recurring or create recurring for the admin so that he can easily uh, check the functionality of recurring uh, recurring feature that it is correctly working or not or like he can check from uh, he can check from the back end for any subscription product he can create 
and he can check like whether uh, recurring functionality is working or not so basically we have provided this functionality to check the recurring uh, subscription uh, so that the admin can easily check so uh, if i will create like create uh, recurring so once the admin has created uh, like uh, once he has clicked on create recurring so like let me click on view order so as you can see that the, the renewal order for the subscription has been done here as you can see that this is the order id and this was the previous order id that was 983 and as you can see that this is the next order id that is 984 so as you can see that the parent order id was 982 and now the order id is 984 as you can see that here so when i will click on this so as you can see that the same uh, subscription uh, like which we have renewed or we have clicked on create recurring orders so as you can see that same product has been added like here you can see that the parent uh, prices parent product price is 200 and these are the bundle products that we have added and I have shown you how we can purchase this. So basically this is a recurring order that we have created. So let's again go back here. And one more thing, uh, let me click on like, uh, uh, let me search for this plugin subscriptions for WooCommerce Pro. So basically we have also added new payment gateway uh, like uh, a brain tree for WooCommerce payment gateway as a credit card. So now brain tree also we have added as a WooCommerce payment gateway as credit card. And you can also check uh, various supported gateways here from here. Like here is the gateway name and all the gateways uh, payment gateways are mentioned here. So you can check uh, all the supported gateways from here. So this was all about the latest features of subscriptions for WooCommerce Pro plugin, which can definitely help you to grow your online business and boost your revenue. So if you are facing any queries regarding the plugin functionality, so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest updates related to our channel. Until the next video, stay connected with us. Thank you.